Hey guys, Kevin the Comic Doctor coming to you with a, another edition of, well, a live stream of the comics you need. I wanted to come up here today and uh, talk to you about uh, Black Widow comics because, hey, today is finally the day where Black Widow uh, was released in theaters and also in uh, on, on Disney Plus, if you have it. I haven't seen it yet, though, so I'm holding off because... Here in Ontario, we just found out today that uh, theaters should be opening in about a week. So next Friday. So uh, we're holding off um, and we're going to see it in theaters the way it's meant to be seen, right? The way it's meant to be seen. Uh, but if you recall, a few uh, weeks ago, I, um, I came on here and I talked about Fantastic Four books that were hot. So today I figured I'd come on here to celebrate, again, the release of Black, uh, Black Widow and talk about some of the comic books that you might want to consider finding or adding to your collection um, if, uh, if that is something you want to do. Now, of course, uh, I'm using Key Collector for this and I'll transition over and show you that. I've, I've disabled the chats today, guys, because I can't... For some reason, I always, whenever I do that, I mess things up. So I just disabled the chats for today. I'm just going to go through these and let you guys uh, uh, review with, along with me and uh, perhaps have a little checklist of, of comics that you already have or ones you need, what have you. But here we have, um, of course, the, the very first book uh, most people who are into Black Widow are going to want is, of course, uh, Tales of Suspense 52, which is, of course, the first appearance of, of Natasha Romanov, uh, The Black Widow. Uh, this is a pretty big book. Uh, a few years ago, you could have got this book even in a nice high grade, probably for a couple thousand dollars. Now, high grade copies are, I believe, going into like, uh, yeah, as, as, as a key collector is saying here, you know, six to probably six to seven thousand dollars for high grade examples of that. Uh, there are quite a few uh, modern books mixed in with this key collector list, and of course, key collector is. Um, is basing obviously these off of, of rumors from the movie and what have you. And there might be actually some spoilers here, right? Because some of the comics they're listing here um, are obviously related to the film. So if you like to go into a film spoiler free, this might not be the video for you because I don't want to spoil it for you. I myself, I, I don't care. I've been listening to all the rumors and such. So I've kind of already up to, I kind of know what's going on there. But the next one we have here is of course... Uh, in Humans number five, a modern book in Humans number five is the first appearance of the Black Widow, Yelena Belova. Now she's going to be, people are speculating she's going to be the next Black Widow, uh, the next Black Widow in the in the MCU moving forward. Um, and a, a, according to uh, this little notice here, apparently um, she is also going to appear in the Hawkeye and uh, Hawkeye Disney Plus series as well. So they're really going to be building up that character as well. So Yelena Belova's first appearance in in Humans number five, still high grade copies, pretty attainable at approximately one hundred and twenty dollars for for a nice high grade sample of that book. What do we have next? Okay, so next we have Avengers forty three. Now this is a book I've been seeing a lot over the last year and a half here at the Comic Doctor's office. Is the first appearance of Red Guardian, uh, Alexei uh, Sh uh, Shotokov. Shotokov um, and in this, she's on well, the comic. She's actually uh, the Black Widow's uh, husband, husband of the Black Widow. But anyways, obviously in the movie, I believe she's more of a father. He's more of a father figure to her. But again, another popular book that's really piqued a lot of people's interest in the last couple of years, and whose value has also gone up. Again, though, high grade copy still available at at under five hundred dollars, which is quite good. Then we have Avengers forty four. It's a partial origin story of the Black Widow and death of the Red Guardian. All right, again, $55 in a high grade, not too bad. Avengers uh, 196, of course, the first appearance of the Taskmaster. Um, and look at this, it even says 104% of copies sold this week versus the previous week. So obviously, a lot of anticipation and, and excitement over this character. It's saying that the high is 270. I believe the, the value on that book's actually higher than that. Uh, uh, in high grade, I think you're, you're probably paying quite a bit more than 270 perhaps they're talking about raw copies but high grade copies of this book um especially in the i believe there's a newsstand edition of this of this book that's uh that's quite pricey uh what do we have next here marvel fanfare number 11 is the first appearance of iron maiden um a female assassin emmy of the black widow now again yeah, so Rachel Weisz was cast as that character in the movie. So again, this character is also appearing in the movie. Again, look, look at that. $15 high price on this one. So again, very affordable. Marvel Graphic Novel, ah, gra 
can't speak today. Marvel graphic novel 57, uh, first appearance of the agent. Now I'm not sure about what's about that. What, whether this character is appearing in uh, the movie. Um, there's talk of the Thunderbolts as well too. Perhaps they're going off in that direction at some point. Again, guys, uh, I'm sure Key Collector is doing this. Like there's a lot of speculation and they're just you know throwing out ideas of books that could potentially pop based on the success of the, the success of the movie and the success of the characters and the popularity of the characters in the movie. Okay. Uh, Marvel Knights Wave 2 Sketchbook Number 1 Is a 16 page preview Okay what do we got What do we got here So it's a It's a, it's a wizard promotional book uh, I'm not sure what this is here I'll move along Amazing Spider-Man 86 Debut of Black Widow's Skin tight costume The costume we've all come to know Um and uh, I was going to say love, right? Especially when uh, worn by certain actresses. But um, the uh, uh, that's a very popular book as well, too. Uh, I see this probably, I wouldn't say weekly at the shop here, but I see it very frequently here, uh, especially when there was rumors of the movie coming out. I, this book started coming into the shop quite often. All right, what do we got now? Black Widow number one, other modern telling. First issue, three issue miniseries where Natasha and Yelena face off to own the code name Black Widow. All right. And again, guys, the movies are are take are using the comic books as source material. Obviously, the movies are not, you know, following exactly what's happening in the comics. Again, the comics are inspiration for what we're seeing on the big screen. So in this particular uh, issue, it's the first time uh, Natasha and Yelena actually face off. And we see we see, we've seen them facing off in the uh, in the uh, trailers for this film going back almost two years now. Uh, I'm looking very forward to seeing this movie. All right, what else do we have here? Captain America 352 is a first uh, team appearance of, of the Supreme Soviets. Red Guardian, a new, the next Red Guardian, uh, and other characters. Crimson Dynamo being another one. So the, again, these could be, uh, you know, again, I haven't seen the film, so I don't know. Perhaps the Supreme Soviets is the, uh, is the equivalent to the Avengers. And we're going to hear the name drop, perhaps. But again, another book that was speculated to be, you know, touched upon in the film. Avengers 111 is the Black Window actually joins the Avengers in 111. So a popular book even prior to the movie, this particular movie coming out. Hulk 258. Uh, again, another uh, Supreme uh, Soviet, su sorry, Soviet super soldiers uh, um, is another team. Uh, of course, being rival, rival rivaling the... Um, the Avengers, another popular book you might want to pick up. Again, the price is very, you know, very affordable. Uh, other modern Black Widow number one is a pre premier issue. Uh, this features the Black Widow that explores her origin in the Black Widow Ops program. Um, so it's another more in-depth origin look, origin study of the Black Widow. Inhumans and Black Widow, Amazing Adventures number one. This is the very first Black Widow origin story. I got a copy of this in 9.6, actually. Excuse me. And the book, you know, this book was 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 skyrocketing at one point. And it just kind of flatlined. And it hasn't really popped back at all. Um, anyhow, uh, pretty cool book. Um, Amazing Adventures number tw uh, one, Origin of the Black Widow. Not origin story, her first solo story. Her first solo story outside of another uh, book there. Deadpool Max number five, first appearance of the female Taskmaster. I don't believe we're going to be seeing that in the movie. Iron Man number nine, first appearance of the Winter Guard. So Red Guardian, Vanguard again. Winter Guard being another team similar to the Avengers, the Russian version. Uh, Black Widow, Pay a Little Spider number one, first solo series featuring Yol Yelena Belova. Now again, if what I said is true, if um, Scarlett Johansson is hanging up her uh, superhero tights and moving on from the uh, from the franchise, and this new Yelena Belova character uh, being played by Pew um, uh, becomes the new norm, then the, these early issues of of uh, Yelena Belova will probably pop in value. So it's something you might want to consider. And as you can see, the prices are still very low. Okay, Black Widow, Deadly Origin. Um, it's a white suit variant, okay. Black Widow number four, Origin of the Black Widow, specifically the brainwashing and training she and 27 other orphan girls endured after being recruited to the Red Room. So again, another uh, bit of an origin story. 
And uh, the Red Room is being mentioned. We've heard about the Red Room uh, in the Avengers film. Um, and, and I'm sure they're going to explore a lot more. Well, they are going to explore a lot more of that in the Black Widow movie. And that, my friends, is it. So quite a few books uh, to consider. Um, and many of which are, are still very, very affordable, which is fantastic. So if, if you know you want to start getting into the Black Widow uh, comic books and find those key books simply come on back here and review the books that i went over and there's many there that you might want to consider picking up and again i think the a safe bet is that if they're going to be using that i forget the actress's first name i know her last name is pew if they're going to be using and i've been hearing nothing but good things about her performance as yolena belova in fact i hear she steals the movie if they're going to use that actress moving forward as the new black widow there's a you know that's going to obviously uh, bring a lot more attention to those earlier issues where she was introduced. So something you might want to consider, guys. Thanks very much for this impromptu for popping in for this impromptu uh, live stream featuring the hot uh, hot Black Widow uh, comic books that you and I probably want to go and hunt down. So again, thanks for popping by. I hope you get up to see the Black Widow pretty soon. If you have seen the Black Widow already or you are planning on seeing it, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, leave the spoilers out because I, I'm not going to see it for a whole week. So just give me a thumbs up. I've been hearing mixed reviews for the most part, but but mostly actually, you know, 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10. That's what I'm hearing. So hopefully it'll, it will not disappoint. I've been waiting and I'm sure we've all been waiting a very long time to finally get to the movie theaters and watch and get our, and get our, uh, our dose of the MCU. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.